Hello and welcome to the VAG Worldwide Courses by Otmane. Throughout this program, we'll delve into the intricacies of car operations. Our study will cover key aspects such as engines, transmissions, steering, suspension, brakes and electrical systems. Let's begin by exploring the workings of a four-stroke engine. During operation, a mixture of fuel and air enters the cylinder, followed by compression by the piston. The compressed gas ignites through a spark plug leading to the expulsion of burned gases during the exhaust phase. Note the unique rotation speed relationship between camshafts and the crankshaft, facilitated by larger diameter pulleys. The timing belt ensures synchronization between valve movements and piston positions. Examining engine components, the camshaft controls the inlet valve, the block houses essential engine elements, and water cools the jacket oil stored in the sump for lubrication. The crankshaft is supported by bearings and the cylinder liner provides a smooth surface for the piston. The conrod links the piston to the crankshaft, separating linear piston motion from the rotational crankshaft movement. The head gasket seals the block and cylinder head. Additionally, a camshaft controls the exhaust valve and the spark plug ignites the fuel. It's crucial to change the timing belt at recommended intervals to avoid expensive repairs caused by its breakage. Remember, a four-stroke engine only delivers power during the combustion stroke and having multiple cylinders helps maintain a continuous power supply. In a four-cylinder engine, the firing order, 134, minimizes vibrations, aided by a flywheel to reduce fluctuations. The crankshaft also drives ancillary equipment through a pulley. Moving on to Chapter 2, Transmission, we explore how a clutch separates the drive from the driven wheels. The gearbox allows adjustment of torque based on driving conditions. Gears on the lay shaft control the speed, with an output shaft connecting to the driven wheels. The transmission system ensures efficient power delivery. In Chapter 3, we delve into the steering system, where the steering wheel connects to the rack and pinion. The track rod and track arms complete the linkage, accommodating differences in wheel movement in back-wheel drive cars through the differential. Chapter 4 focuses on the suspension system, which utilizes springs and dampers for comfort and stability. We examine the McPherson Strut as an example. Chapter 5 introduces the hydraulic braking system, detailing how discs and calipers slow down wheel rotation during braking. This crucial system ensures safe and reliable stopping. Finally, in Chapter 6, Electrics, we explore the role of the battery, electric motor, alternator, and various electrical components. The alternator, driven by the crankshaft, maintains the battery charge. The electrical system is protected by fuses and switches control current flow. We hope you've gained valuable insights into VAG Worldwide through this course. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video.